this Lamar team was scary. They, 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 I'll tell you, they can hit. And uh, I just never really felt like any lead was safe tonight. I think the key for us out of the pen today was Austin Bain. He, he kind of got control of the game there. I think he gave us two and a third innings, if I'm correct on that. And I thought he, he really did a tremendous job. And then obviously Bush, uh, Hess, and, and Newman were, were outstanding as well. I, if you'd have told me early in the game that we were going to hold them to four runs, I would have told you you're probably going to be wrong about that because they, they were a scary, scary lineup. And uh, so our, our pen, starting with Bain, really did a tremendous job and shut them down. And uh, we had the two big innings, and, uh, and that was really all she wrote. Uh, we had a few clutch hits, you know, good, enough to win, a, win this game. So I'm happy we got the win, and we got to start a road swing now. Not all on one trip, of course, but seven games in a row away from the box. So this is, this is the tough part of our schedule. 18 games to go. By the time we get to come back here, we'll only have 11 games remaining on the schedule. So we've got to be the road warriors now. What kind of words did you exchange with Coach Davis after the game? Oh, I love Will. You know, Will's, Will was with me for nine and a half years, his fifth year as a student, and then um, eight and a half years on the staff. And a uh, very loyal guy, hardworking, really good baseball man. I miss him. Honestly, I do. Uh, when Will left, with my blessing, you know, in the middle of last school year, uh, I really felt a void in my life, you know. He's such a, a good man and a good confidant, and he had a good perspective of the game, and uh, he calmed me down a lot. So, you know, when, when he left, you know, I was happy for him, a great opportunity, and he's doing a tremendous job there. The Lamar's really got a, an outstanding coach over there. But I, I just don't like playing against friends, you know. You know, we won the game. I'm happy for our kids. You know, I have a job to do here, but I don't really get a lot of enjoyment out of, you know, winning a game against a friend. So I'm glad it's over with. Ball seemed to be carrying pretty well early tonight. <laughs> like everything that was hit was either out or close to it. Well, I tell you, you know, what they hit three home runs and we hit two. Yeah, the ball was jumping, but, you know, that, that kid, you know, he teed off on that first pitch of the game and then he hit another one. Then he almost hit another one out kind of a one-handed swing. That kid's got power. And then, uh, of course, he hit that last base hit in the ninth inning. I'm glad we, you know, if we see him in the, in the NCAA tournament, that'd be fine. But we don't have to play these guys anymore. They were scary. Scary lineup, especially the first half of the order. You can get back to back home runs like that. And well, I mean, people that, you guys kind of seem to feed off that right after. I was waiting to see Coons. We've been waiting for Coons to, to show that power. You know, I knew he had it. He had, I think, 13 home runs last year in junior college. And that was his first one for us. So he really attacked that ball. And like I said, when he hit that ball out of the park, you know, we went from being down one to up two to one. It just gave a huge lift. And then Josh turned on one and, and hit one out of here. And then we had some real great at-bats after that. I thought Watson was really awesome. You know, he, he smoked that ball down the left field corner. It, I thought it was fair, fair, fair. And then it just hooked foul at the last second. Would have been a basis clearing double. And so often, you see somebody hit one like that, and then they lose their focus on the next pitch. They chase a bad ball, or they sh whatever. But he came through right after that with a base hit. And then Jordan Romero got two strikes on him and came through with a clutch hit as well. So we had some good at-bats. You know, I, I, was, I was concerned about tonight. We didn't take a particularly good pregame infield outfield. We made a few mental mistakes that nobody in the stands would have even noticed, but I noticed. You know, so I, I'm not sure we were 100% focused on the game tonight, but you know, at the end of the day, we, we ended up doing what we had to do and, you know, uh, against, a, against a team that's playing pretty well. So it was a good win for us at the end, and I think our bullpen was really key. Like I said, it looked like they were gonna, it was going to be a big scoring game, and, you know, once Bain came in, he kind of stemmed the tide, and then the guys after him did a great job. I think those four that ended the game combined to allow one hit between a yeah. five and third inning. Well, uh, that, that, that's, that's outstanding bullpen work, and believe me, we're going to need outstanding bullpen work <clears throat> going into this weekend. Uh, we know we're, we're facing a really good hitting team, and, you know, you think our park played small today. You should see what it's like over there in, in Lexington. So hopefully we'll get great starting pitching performances. But I'm glad those guys sharpened up and they're ready to go for this weekend, that bullpen I'm talking about. Seeing Beck struggle for the first time all year, was, how do you feel like he bounced back? You know, uh, he'll be fine. You know, he, he, uh, he's a strike thrower, and sometimes they're going to hit him. You know, his stuff's not overpowering. I think, the, I think one 
was it 01 or 10 when he threw a nice breaking ball and the kid just jacked it out, you know. And then, uh, you know, the next inning, you know, he, he, you know, he challenged hitters and a couple guys got hits on him. I, I've got all the confidence in the world, in Matthew Beck. I think he's done a really good job for us. He didn't do anything tonight to discourage me. Okay, good enough. Okay, guys.